Chris, uh, just kind of what, what's the plan for today? Where do you where do you plan on staying? And how are you just feeling overall as you enter yeah, the series? Um, feel feel pretty good, all things considered. Thanks. Um, the plan was to try to be here all along. Um, you know, just see how I felt day by day. Um, you know, uh, just and then kind of figure out like logistically how it might work uh, being on the bench um, and with the other coaches and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Do you feel the need to get inventive in the series to try something different, or do you, is this one where you want to close sides know what's coming and you want to try and just let it play out in terms of strength versus strength? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, you know, for us it starts with being the best version of ourselves. You know, I think that's, you know, what, what, we've, what we've been able to do all year. Uh, of course, it's the playoffs. There's going to be adjustments and things you have to consider. And with the extra week of preparation, you know, I guess uh, both teams are able to kind of think a little deeper. But I would imagine both teams are just going to kind of be themselves and let it rip. Have you figured out yet whether you're going to be with the coaches on the bench or you're going to be behind? Yeah, no, I'll be on the I'll be on the bench. Um, uh, but, um, you know, the game interaction and the game flow, you know, will be largely held by, uh, run by Micah. You know, obviously I'm, I'm not in a position to be able to get up, um, call timeouts, interact with the players, you know, that kind of stuff. But being right there with the coaches and with the players and in the huddles, that stuff will be the same. So You do a lot of back and forth interaction with Micah traditionally yeah. during the course of a game. Is that that going to be able to happen? Yeah, absolutely. It was, you know, he has the – Pleasure of sitting next to me for the whole game now. So, Chris, you said before you played this Denver team the first time this season that you feel like you learn a little bit about them every, or you guys are learning something about mm -hmm. them every time you play them. How, as Matt said, with the 13 times you guys have played them in the last two years, how much of them do you feel like you have learned? Well, I mean, we learn every time that they're really, really hard to beat. You know, they don't beat themselves. They probably got the most complete and complimentary starting five in the in the league. Um, the way they close games right now is surgical. It's elite. Um, you got to be really good there. Um, you know, and it's, it, it, you know, everybody always asks, like, you know, how are you going to – you going to make Jokic a, a score or a passer? And the reality is, like, you just you just never know, you know. feel He's one of those players that you feel like you're kind of – out there playing alongside of them, uh, just got to keep fighting and changing it up. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we learn and we learn, but uh, we, it only is good if we put it into useful actions. So, you've talked since you've been here about the importance of playing as much as possible, playing through stuff. Did you kind of pigeonhole yourself into having to be here? Uh, no, I didn't. Honestly, I did not. Um, I I was wide open on everything. I you know I was. Uh, they told me that, you know, uh, they really wanted me to just rest. I've um, been trying to do that. Um, but I also wanted to be here. And, you know, if I could be here in any capacity, that was the most important thing for me. So I just was literally going to take it day by day and see how I felt. So the, the game at the end of the regular season here, there was a lot of stakes on that. Did, yeah. did you feel like either team kind of showed things that you hadn't seen before that, that maybe gave you an idea of what's to come this week? Um, well, I thought they played with a, you know, they played with a desperation in that game that, um, you know, they showed, you know, their their championship medal in that game. Um, it, was, it was some of these games that we played against each other. It's just through the landscape of an NBA season, a lot of more back-to-backs, kind of tough, tough travel or tough schedule circumstances. So you don't always get the best representation of everything. But, um, you know, I felt that game, you know, they played with a desperation that they knew what that game meant. So. Chris, in game four, you talked about weathering the storm against Phoenix with them being a desperate team. How is that similar to starting a series on the road, trying to weather a storm against a hostile crowd here for you? Yeah, uh, we did a great job uh, starting every game in the Phoenix series with well. We knew that they were a hot, hot starting team. Um, that was a big point of emphasis. It needs to continue to be so. You know, finishing out the regular season, we weren't a good starting team. Um, you know, we can't afford to let a, a really good team get off to a great start at home. Um, when we played them last year, game one, they really, really, they really crushed us out of the gate. Um, probably took us a, almost a game and a half to kind of recover from it. So it's not something we can afford, certainly this year. So we'll be ready.